Hello everyone, this is Raden Wijaya. In this video, I will explain to you how Queen can travel to all location in a chessboard in less than 15 steps. Okay, so this is not your typical Queen problem. This Queen wanted to travel to all area on a chessboard and the queen may start it from any location and may finish in any location that's a constraint okay this is the example number one the queen will start from a1 which is the bottom left and then going to a8 which is the top left and then top right h8 and going to h1 which is on the bottom right and from h1 going to b1 which is the second column from the left and going to b7 and the queen will keep repeating repeating the same inward spiral movements. The total steps needed will be 15, and the average cover per step will be 64 divided by 15, which is 4.27. This way, it sounds pretty optimal, right? But the total step needed is still 15. Okay, so you want to fight for another way to reduce the step. On this example number two, the queen can run from the A1 or the bottom left going to a8 and then from the a8 going to b8 so it's just moving to the right just one location and then from b8 going to the b1 and then from b1 going to c1 and then c8 again okay going to scanning from up down to up to down to up again the total step needed will be 15 and the average cover per step is 4.27 which is still the same with the first example Here we will enter example number 3. Now we can try to start from top left corner of the chessboard, the A8. From the A8, the queen will tra travel to B8, and then from B8, travel to A7. From A7, travels to A6, and then to C8. Okay, this way, the queen will create a zigzag, it's a combination of diagonal, horizontal, and vertical movements. With total number of steps needed, 29. Average cover per step 2.2. This is the most inefficient way to do it. Uh, perhaps there are more inefficient way, but it's pretty inefficient, I think. Okay, now let's analyze what we've found so far from example one to entry. First, it appears that the maximum number of movements can be achieved is achieved by maximizing the average cover per step. For example, that if you have less Covered per step, for example, on the example number three, you will have more steps needed to cover the whole chessboard. And also, it appears that the minimum number of movement is 2m minus 1, where m is the size of chessboard. For example, for 10 by 10 chessboard, the minimum will be 19. It also appears that for one incremental size it will add 2 to the minimum number of steps needs covered compared to the smaller chessboard for example if we have 8 by 8 it will need like 15 steps to cover when we have 9 by 9 it will need like 17 so 2 because it's just like on the outermost rims outermost of the chessboard yes it will be done there the two steps yeah. so the big question is is this true is the most efficient number of a queen visiting 8 by 8 chessboard is 15 and is the formula also true to n minus 1 well it's not true there is a way to travel to all location on a chessboard in 14 steps and it's your task to find it. And as a clue, I've managed to fill the chessboard in 14 steps and I do it in counterintuitively. I do it by visiting the same location twice. Yes, I visit the same location twice. It's inefficient, I know, but it works. And I do it in making both horizontal, vertical and diagonal movements. So, yeah, in counterintuitively. I'll reveal the answer for this question next month. 
but for your information you should not run a google search to find the answer for this problem because it's original that's not on google yet cheers and good luck